Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play. Uh, almost, I keep almost saying Super Mario Kart. This is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch. Uh, we're just going to continue on. Who should I be? Uh, I'm going to be Isabel. She's so adorable. Look at her in her, in her little monster truck. Uh, what should I choose? Something fun. Something silly. Not the bikes. I can't use the bikes. Um, I'm really, really bad at them. Yeah, I'm going to use the ATV or the ATV. Yeah, ATV, that's what that's what it is. I don't know anything about actual racing, everyone, so, uh, yeah, here we go. So, something silly. There we go. And a plane. Because why not? Uh, and we're going to go down to Shell Cup. So we're going to do them, like, vertically. So, you know, a new cup, retro cup, new cup, retro cup. Uh, so introduced in Mario, um, was it Mario Kart DS? I think so. Uh, introduced the idea of retro cups where you could replay older levels from older Mario Kart games, and that is just awesome. So, like, this one, for example, is Moon Meadows from the Wii, and from Mario Kart Wii, and it's just it's such a good idea, seeing some of these older levels in this beautiful, in these beautiful HD graphics. Uh, my favorites are, believe it or not, like, the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance uh, versions, because they weren't 3D, they were, like, you know, Mode 7. So it's really cool seeing them, like, fully realized. I mean, oh, by the way, uh, I had smart steering on, last episode because apparently they like to default that on so that's why I was doing pretty good so let's see how crappy I do now that that's off I don't know why they default that on that's ridiculous and weirdly enough you can't turn it off until you get into a race uh, now hopefully it's permanently off I'll have to check that but whatever uh, anyways the retro cups I, I love the idea of it while I say I think I think it's Mario Kart DS that started it game the Game Boy Advance Mario Kart Mario Kart Super Circuit actually had the entirety of Mario Kart one like for the Super Nintendo on the cartridge so I guess you could say that was the first one with older levels but whatever now it's a standard and I love it I, I just adore the levels that they choose and a few of them have been like redone a couple times because they've been so popular or whatever the the picks that they've chosen for this one are pretty good they're pretty damn good actually uh, I'll point out some of my favorites to be honest ow and this one's from Mario Kart Wii which is um a pretty good Mario Kart game definitely not one of my favorites or anything but it's definitely not bad but I don't know why, uh, I find I find myself really liking the handheld Mario Kart games. I really like Mario Kart DS. Up until now, that was my favorite Mario Kart game. I really like Mario Kart 3DS. I loved Super Mario Kart, or, uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. And then I just really like those. And for some reason, like, everyone's favorite is Double Dash and 64. I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but Mario Kart 64, I find, is did not age as well as a lot of other Mario Kart games did. And I've never really liked Double Dash. Maybe I'm just super, super antisocial, but I don't get the whole two people on a cart. One person gets to play. One person gets to get bored. Yay! That's just, I don't know. I find that really weird. That being said, the game still has some phenomenal tracks. I'm going to blow myself up, aren't I? Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah, it has some phenomenal tracks. Um, the, the Daisy Cruise Ship is one of my favorites. Uh, Donkey Kong Mountain or whatever it's called. I'm sorry, I don't know the actual names of a lot of these, but some of them are just incredible. Like the lineup for levels is just super, super great. So it's nice to see a couple of them in this game. The only one I can think of is Yoshi Valley, uh, or Yoshi Circuit, I guess, from from Double Dash. Ah, Isabel, you're so adorable. Look at her go. I love when she sounds like she does in the Animal Crossing game. Like she doesn't like say anything. She's just kind of like I can't do the noise, but she does the weird. That just sounds like I was drowning her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Isabel. <laughs> it's like waterboarding <laughs> for an Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, it, oh my god, that's terrible. Anyways, this is Mario Zerker for the Game Boy Advance. I love this level. Because look at it, it's so cute and like a real go-kart level. Like, it, it looks like something that could be a real go-kart, like, track in real life. Except for, of course, the climbing of the giant, like, hydraulic area, like... You'll see right there. Like, that's... I love that. Because they, they can only do so much with the classic levels to make them, like, Mario Kart 8-ish. To have the, the flying and the water and the, and the, the anti-gravity stuff. So, I like how this one does it. Like, it's a very small anti-gravity. Like, Moo Moo Farms did basically nothing. It added some uh, flying sections. That's about it. This one does, I think, a good job. Because you don't want it to be crazy. I just love... I, I, I love them. It, it makes me think... Like, this is how I would have pictured Mario Kart. When I was a little kid. Because like, Mario Kart came out when I was like seven years old. So to me like. It had the Mode 7 stuff. And when I was a kid. Mode 7 was magical to me. I would. It's hard to explain. But in, in Mario Kart. 
every screen except for the title screen and like the character top or uh, shoot creation whatever character selection screen was like a double screen like the bottom had the map and the top was your your game and it was made so that if you were playing two players both people would have a screen um, but in time trials when you're selecting a course the top was just like the mode 7 background just going like going across it was so cool it was just so cool I, I, I'd stare at that for like I was gonna say hours but I wasn't that weird a kid but I, I would stare at it and just be like that's so cool because you just picture this like expansive world and it sounds really weird but I, I actually think this level does a really good job of like look at that the background with all the trees you can always see it certain ways like right there like oh it's just gorgeous and yeah I know I'm an old man who's just like look at the graphics and things about Game Boy Advance and so it, it's kind of funny that one of my favorite levels in Mario Kart 8 is just a fairly unimaginative remake of of an old level but I, I love the way they did it. I just adore it. It's so cool. That was that. That was me prattling on about that level for a while. That was fun. Oh, Isabel. You're not even steering! Get your stubby stubs back on there! You're gonna crash! Anyways. <laughs> uh, I figure that some of the some of the court yeah, some of the cups are gonna take less than 20 minutes. And normally I'd be fine with that, but it's uh, I'm worried it'll go like 15 minutes. So if you have time, I might do some uh, some some battle mode stuff too, like maybe a level at a time or something, just for fun. And we've got Cheap Cheap Beach from the DS, which again, the, the Mario Kart DS was my old favorite Mario Kart game. It was super good. Super, super good. I love, oh man, I love the look of this game. It's just gorgeous. Some people said there was like, there's too much bloom. I don't know. I think this is perfect. It's, this level does have a lot of bloom, but I mean, it's also a beach level. Like, it, I think it's perfect. I love the way it looks. It's just gorgeous. The water looks incredible. Um, not an incredible remake of the level in the original Mario Kart DS. Uh, obviously, you have, like, some underwater areas you can go to, but they're not super important. And there's no there's no area that, that requires you to go underwater. And as far as I know, underwater makes you go slower. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but it, it sounds like that would make sense, so I'm going to go ahead and believe it. I like the, uh, the, the crabs over there. I think they're called... Uh, Oh, damn, I don't know what they're called. Claw nippers? I don't know. They, they look like the original crab enemies from the original, uh... The original Mario Brothers. Not Super Mario Brothers. The original uh, arcade version of Mario Brothers where you're Mario and Luigi and there's, you know, Koopa Troopas and, and flies and stuff coming out of the pipes. That's a good game. Before my time, to be honest, but I, I enjoyed it a lot when I was a kid. We had, uh... Uh, it was called 31 and 1, which is one of those multi-cart games, which were really, really prevalent in uh, the Maritimes uh, in Canada. Uh, like Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, even like Maine uh, in the States. Like, they were really easy to get around there. I don't know why, but uh, we had one, and it had the original Mario Brothers on it, and that was the first time I had played a lot of these arcade games. It's how I first played Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., uh, the original Mario Brothers, and a bunch of other, like, like Galaga. It's how we played Galaga when I was a kid. That was one of our favorite games. And to this day, I, I still don't own a copy of Galaga on an actual cartridge. Just that 31 to 1 thing. Not because I can't find it, it's just because I'm lazy and I don't want to spend money. <laughs> because I'm, I'm a cheap bastard. Even though I, I, I try to get a lot from my collection lately. Oh yeah, they do have uh, the, the flying areas in this section too. I forgot about that. Gotta love this. It's just beautiful. Ow, 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 ow. I was doing pretty good without the smart steering thing. That was, that was a little frustrating. But uh, I think I'm doing fairly well at 150 CC. I'm not getting like crazy Mario Karted like I, I do some. Oh no, here we go. It starts red shell. Oh, okay, there was another red shell that also hit me, but thankfully only one like registered. I guess. Oh no, damn you! Ooh, you stupid! No, 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 no! Oh, yes. Okay, good. Should be able to make this. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Come on! Oh, stupid mud villager, come back! No, the red shell. Okay, good. Oh, you. Oh, my first. Second place win because the villager from my damn town. I'm gonna see, I'm Isabel, so like I'm acting like she's from Animal Crossing, so I'm making the joke that get out of my way. Ah. Oh, such a bitch. So I'm gonna go back to the mayor of Animal Crossing and get her kicked out. Actually, no, I guess, I guess technically she's the villager, so she'd be the mayor. I actually haven't played Mario or Mario, I've never played an Animal Crossing game, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'll be super honest. Isabel's in there. I believe the villager is obviously you. I'm rambling now. Whatever. It's it's me on my channel. This is what I do. I ramble. 
All right, Toad Turd Bike. This is the Mario Kart 64 level. Uh, they did a great job on this level. Not nearly as difficult as Mario Kart 64, which is which is fine. Uh, what I really damn you people. What I really like about it though is that a lot of the cars actually do something, and there is some anti grav stuff, but it's not really like it's on the sides there, and there are like turbo tiles, but I don't know if that's actually faster. Because I mean, wouldn't everyone just go there? And it's relatively in the clear, unless it is slower and it's there so that people who uh. Wee! Oh damn it! Oh, donk. Uh, pe ow! People who uh, aren't good at dodging cars can go on there. Anyways, I like how, as you saw there, that there was a ramp on a car. I like the idea of of some of the cars being different. I am. I'm not doing great. Oh, also, I'm sorry. I honk the horn all the time. I'm really just used to when I. I'm gonna do. Oh, okay. When um, whenever I get an item box, I just kind of instinctively hit L a bunch of times to like hurry up and choose my weapon. And in this game, it doesn't do anything. I mean, you could argue that it probably doesn't do anything in any Mario Kart game. But in this one, it, it honks your horn. And I just sort of do it instinctively, so I'm sorry. Uh, I, I will probably be doing this for a while. But I didn't even notice until earlier this episode. I was like, oh, I'm a honking the horn a lot. And it's not doing anything, so I feel kind of stupid. Whatever. I'm in first place, that's all that matters. Whee! Uh, it's a rather uneventful level, really. Because, I mean, it, it's just, as you can see, um, a figure eight. There's been a few figure eights in uh, in the Mario Kart games. There's been this one. There's uh, the Incredible Mario Circuit, which is for Mario Kart 8, which you'll see next episode, I believe. It's the first track in the next cup. Um, there's also um, one in Mario Kart DS, I think. I think. I'm not sure. It's like Luigi Raceway or something like that. But, I mean, it's a very traditional... Oh, Blue Shell. Oh, it's not going to hit me. Yeah, that's right. Take that, bitch. Who are you? Who is it? <laughs> Drab oh, no, it's Metal Mario. That was Dry Bones. Oh, Ludwig, no! No! Ludwig, you asshole. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is what's like driving in in uh, in Moncton. I'm from Moncton, New Brunswick, by the way. This is what driving's like. It's very much like this. <sighs> Ludwig, you asshole. Actually, I take that back. It's, it's not that bad, but in... Jeez, oh, when we went to Europe, when you drive from France, it is like this. Oh my, you're just driving, you're trying to be careful. And friggin' scooters and motorcycles are just like, boom, like right by you. You're like, oh my god, I almost hit seven people. It's so nerve wracking. I win. Oh my god. Oh, random note. I like how all the trucks and stuff have like company names and stuff. It's cool. Uh, I really like the way Mario Kart makes the Mushroom Kingdom feel like a real place. We'll go more into depth that, that, with that when we go into like an actual level that really shows that off. Like, uh, there's an airport level in this. Uh, Toad Harbor is one of my favorites that really shows that off. So yeah, I'm awesome. Which level are you going to show me being awesome with? Uh, oh, just that one. Okay. Was I really that good in this level? Whee! Oh, she's so adorable. God, I love Isabelle. She's so cute. She's a Shih Tzu, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think she's a Shih Tzu. She's adorable. Whee! A little ATV. A little, little no-hand hands. And take that level. Get my way, bitch. And I like how it shows like how close the other guys were. Because Ludwig was really close. Like one false move, and he easily would have overtaken me. But it wouldn't have mattered. I still would have won gold, I believe, because I was 57. Yeah. So two stars. I've collected 30 coins. Apparently, a new vehicle customization is unlocked. Yay for me. Hi, Mishka. Yeah, hi. We really love you too. He just says hi because she gets. She knows I get all excited about Mario Kart. Uh, so yeah, I, did, I, I have a lot of time left, so let's go into the battle mode. See what uh, see what we're gonna do. I'll just I'll just choose like Luigi, or maybe I'm a me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I was gonna choose Luigi. I was like, you know what? I'll choose Luigi another time because I love Luigi. He's my usual go-to guy. But I forgot that I did make my me, uh, and apparently I like a scooter. There we go. That's me. Um, and Renegade Roundup uh, was the the new mode I heard about this, like cops and robbers kind of thing. I'll try this one. Uh, it's normal items. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Damn you, villager. Ah, oh, you were just my enemy a second ago. All right, battle stage. Let's just do this. We'll just do one, and then we'll, like, continue and do more on another episode or something like that. Uh, so I've never played this mode at all yet. I mean, I've played battle mode, just not in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I've never played the Renegade thing. I know that, like, if I'm the cop... I need to hunt down the bad guys, and then I'll put them in a in like a cage, and then you can unlock the cage by hitting like a button. If you're a bad guy, I don't really know. This is really cool looking. Yeah, there's me. That's what I look like. My big old stupid nose, my dumb friggin' baggy eyes. I got really baggy eyes. Ugh, I hate it. 
It's almost like I've been staring at a video game screen my whole life. All right, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, do I just... Can I just hit them, or do I have to hit them with, like, an item first? I don't know. Well, i got three minutes to figure it out, I guess. Where is everyone? There's a map, but it's, like... I don't know the level at all yet, so I don't know... Oh, there... I don't know. <laughs> I'm all... Oh, whoa! That was a really cool turn. That was be new to the game, because I don't think you can do that in the actual... The actual game. Oh, he's chasing Monty. He's gonna go around here. This middle area is annoying, because it seems like it'd be really easy to avoid people in here. There's no, there's no like, going around. And then it's just, like, an oval. This might not have been the best level for this, uh, to be honest. It's, it's fairly big. It's fairly open. Come here, Wario. I get you. Where'd you go? Where the hell'd you go? Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. Wait. Oh, I'm... No, I'm red. Wait, finish? Oh, that was fast. Jeez. Okay, well, I didn't figure that out at all. I'm Phil the Blanks. I'll see you guys next time. We'll do the next round next time on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.